Back at Stampede Park in Calgary, post parade time for the Nat Chrissy Memorial Pace. Don? No fool around, we're eager. Number one, step back, we'll start from post position two. Bill Tange Jr. in the bike. Step back, what a finish in the elimination coming from well off of the pace. Looked fresh afterwards too. He uh, paced out nicely. Step back from post two will be a factor. Stable mate will be number 1A, Ford Apache Hanover. Both of these horses sent out by Bill Wellwood. Bill not driving in the final. He's now placed Mike Lachance on Ford Apache Hanover. We'll start from post position number three, second in his elimination heat. Again, I mentioned a little bit rough at the wire in the, that elimination heat. We'll see if Ford Apache Hanover has regrouped during the hour off and come back with a stronger effort. Number two will be Glendower Hall. John Chapel will drive J Glendower Hall. He has driven this horse before. In fact, they won the Western Canada Pacing Derby earlier this year on June the 19th at Northlands Park. That day was $120,000. They're going to try to duplicate that effort here in the Nat Christie for a whole lot more money. Glendower Hall, already a winner of $99,000 so far on the year. Stable mate, this one will be teamed by his trainer, Serge Massé. Number 2B, one sweet day from post position number 7. One Sweet Day. This mare of One Sweet Day has had four foals. This is the only good one so far. She was unraced herself. One Sweet Day, Serge Massé got one that's okay. Uh, he's only made $12,000 lifetime, but he has raced some fairly tough races. One Sweet Day out of the entry would be considered the longer shot. He was fourth in his elimination heat. That was good enough to get into the final, though. We'll take a look now at Keith Clark, veteran campaigner Keith Clark, with number three, Radioactive Hanover. Keith wanting to win that uh, elimination, and he did, and then he got lucky in the draw, getting post position number one. The two winners of each elimination draw for mm -hmm. post positions one and two. Keith getting post one. The way this horse sprinted off the gate in that elimination from post position number five cleared very quickly. Radioactive Hanover has tons of pedigree. If you're into bloodlines, this is one to look at. His mother went in 152 and two and made $238,000. Radioactive Hanover has a brother that's already $768,000. Keith Clark haltered a good one when he bought this one as a yearling. The four horse, we're going to look now at Jetstream Mindale. Gets post position number five. Brian Pinsky will sit in the bike with Jetstream Mindale. Brian Pinsky is a co-owner and trainer of Jetstream. This horse with only one win so far this year in 12 starts. But Brian figured that he'd give his, couple, his two horses a chance here at Northlands Park for the big money. Jetstream Mindale has to be considered as a longer shot, though. Uh, is actually getting play, though. This horse has been racing in the States and raced well in his elimination to finish in 4.30. Again, post position number five for Jetstream Mindale. Shouldn't be that bad of a thing. His mother went in 154 and three, so he's got a little bit of breeding there as well. Brian Pinsky from post position number five will be looking for a good trip. There you see number five coming out of the walking ring. Leap year promise for Rod Hennessy. This one a bit of a surprise that he made the final. Yep. Rod Hennessy happy though. Uh, his other colt that he had entered after life would have been given a better chance to make it. But doesn't matter. Leap year promise is here and he's going to have to do his stuff from post position number six. Leap year promise, the mother of this one, Althea Hanover. Racing fans here in Alberta will remember I'll see you later. A nice mare that used to race here. She made $435,000 campaigning mostly on the Alberta circuit. And she based in 153. Rod Hennessy remembers her and he's hoping Leap Year Promise can show a little bit of that same step. On now to number six, that is Western Pleasure. Western Pleasure with Jim Lackey. Uh, called interference, or Western Paradise, called interference in his elimination. It was not uh, judged by the judges to have been bad enough to set anyone back. Uh, Jim Lackey had horse in the elimination, was trying to get up the rail, possibly not enough room to do so. Western Paradise has been pacing uh, well this year. He's the only one who never started as a two-year-old. Strictly a three-year-old pacer so far with three wins and ten starts this year and earnings of only $13,000. He almost looks like he's outclassed here, but I don't think he is. He's based a mile of 153 and four. That is his lifetime mark. Western Paradise has a half-brother, Compelled, who made $246,000, paced in 52 and two. And I don't think the elimination hurt him at all, Roger. He's no. looking a little bit frisky Absolutely. out there. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Roger. Starting from post one, Radioactive Hanover, then step back, and a Fort Apache Hanover. Glendower Hall, Jetstream Mindale from the middle, Leap Year Promise, One Sweet Day, and on the outside, Western Paradise. It's the final of the That Christie Memorial Stake for three-year-olds. And they're off and pacing. Radioactive Hanover from the rail heading out. Alongside of him is fellow Alberta horse, Leap Year Promise, and he's tucking into a two-hole. That was Radioactive Hanover from the rail to the front. Leap Year Promise second. 
Inside third then is a Mike Lachance with Fort Apache Hanover. Settling in fourth is Bill Taines Jr. with Step Back. Then you've got Glendower Hall, Jetstream Mindale, and then Serge Massé with One Sweet Day, and the trailer is Western Paradise. Here comes a move from Mike Lachance and Fort Apache Hanover. He's going to go to the top and pass Radioactive Hanover after a first quarter of 27 and 3 fifths seconds. It is Fort Apache Hanover setting the pace with Radioactive Hanover in the pocket just as they did about an hour ago in the first elimination. Now driving first over, here comes Step Back, the Bill Wellwood stable entry mate. And he's coming after Fort Apache Hanover and looks like he's going to clear as they hit the half in 56 seconds flat. 28-2. Second quarter, step back, takes over. The entries got themselves one, two. Ford Apache Hanover in second. Radioactive Hanover from third. Leap Gear Promise fourth. Starting up in fifth is Brian Pinsky with Jet Stream Mindale. Inside six, Glendower Hall, then Western Paradise, and one sweet day. Racing to the far turn, it's step back, trying to get away on this field here in the Nat Christie. He's got three, Bill Taines Jr. not letting up on him. Three quarters, huge, 123 and three. That's 27 and three in the third quarter. Look at step back. He's opened up about five or six, and step back is gone in the 18th Nat Christie Memorial. He comes down the lane, Bill Taines Jr. is after him, but he's got five. Fort Apache, Hanover second, Bill Wellwood stable does it again. Four out of five years, it's going to be step back, winning the Nat Christie Memorial. Fort Apache, Hanover second, Jetstream, Mindale third, 153, two-fifths for step back. 153 and two-fifths for well, step Bill, back. Well, Bill, how's Alberta really treating you so far? Very good. I love the place. Great, and I hope you do after what you've done four out of the five last years. Tell us about this horse. He had to qualify on Tuesday. You decided to put Bill Tange down. How does he come out of this race now? Well, he goes to the uh, Simcoe and Mohawk uh, next start. He gets eight or ten days off, and uh, we'll go from there. And I think I'm going to race him in the jug. Oh, great. That'd be great for all of us to see. Did you you decide it after that qualifier to come to Calgary? Yes, at the last minute. Uh, there was an empty space in the airplane, so I decided to fill it up. And how he was eligible. Yeah, that's great. And I, when I was talking to you, you weren't talking about bringing him. So how about what was the difference? Why did you put Bill Tange down this morning? Well, I couldn't drive them both. And I was fortunate enough to get Mike Lachance at the end of the day. And I love Mike Lachance and I like his driving. And hey, he's better than I am. So uh, <laughs> Maybe you also love Bill Tange driving now, oh, too. Certainly. He, he did a remarkable job. Followed... Uh, specific orders and did a did a remarkable job okay back to you Roger yeah, before thank you he was at 150,000 now at 150,000 there's a look at the blanket that uh, goes to the winner of the memorial stake in 1999 step back from Bill Wellwood let's go back now to Jackson Winnup who has a lot more from today's Nat Christie race Jackson well we got Bill Taint here it's unbelievable the day that he has just put together tell us what you're feeling right now I'm, I'm happy. I'm real happy. This 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 was a big day for me, and uh, I'm elated. What could I say? <laughs> well, it's nice to see Bill Tange pick up the drive. Scott McCauley picked up the paddock here too. So this is a great story for Alberta, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Back to you guys. All right, Jack, the winner of the 1999 edition of the Nat Christie Memorial Pace. There's a look at the winner's circle. Lots of smiles, and why not, as Wellwood Stables Incorporated out of Cambridge, Ontario, has a lot to celebrate here by winning the Nat Christie Memorial Pace. So for Don Rimmer and our entire telecast crew, this is Roger Millions bidding you a good afternoon. We hope you enjoyed all the action from Stampede Park in Calgary right here on CTV Sportsnet. Apache Han over the entry, winning at 340, 390 to place, 260 to show. Jetstream Mindale, the show horse, at 